societies. Hello and welcome to the Bottled Imp Show. My name is Ken Boyta and this very, very handsome, <coughs> tall and some might say intelligent man with a cough is Julian. With a what? Cough. Oh, a cough. And together <laughs> we are the Bottled Imp. <laughs> <laughs> Exploring the realm of fantasy. <laughs> that was hilarious. a funny one. Was it? That was hilarious. I'll tell no you idea. Word. No, take no your word idea. for it. Take no your word idea. for it. Hopefully it was funny. Anyway, I think yes. We filmed some funny ones and some Probably. not so funny yeah, ones. Yeah, we let's mixed hope, it up. Let's hope that was a funny one. Who knows? We don't know. We never know what's going on in this show. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to crack straight in so we don't run out of time. Yeah. Coming up on today's show we have fantasy, fantastic facts all about secret societies. Ooh. The Bottled Aim... Bottled Aim. The Bottled Ape. <laughs> the Bottled Ape. When we film in this early in the morning, it's not good for me, it's not good for my soul. It's four o'clock in the morning. I'm a night person. The Bottled Imp Game Kickstarter Game Campaign Game. The Great Fancy Challenge, and this week it is Toe Pratchett's Moving Pictures. Also the- Wasn't that last week's? Shh. Oh. now. Charity Shop Fantasy Find. And also the Big Book of Medieval Puzzles. We're gonna have Witchcraft, Old Tom, Forget it. We didn't Jeez. get time to do it. No. And then I forgot that we didn't get time to do it, so I put it up on Facebook. You put it up, you know we didn't do it. Yeah, because oh, so I forgot. Well. Join the so, Facebook group, yeah. and uh, there's all sorts of additional content exactly. you don't see here. Yeah, secret, secret societies. Oh, Join the fellowship. And also we do have the Fantasy Imp big giveaway. <gasps> we need to get onto we that. We will get we onto that. We teased you with that last one. You probably exactly. sat through the whole show. Just waiting and we didn't for the even giveaway. Do the giveaway. That's the only reason why you're watching. We know. Anyway, on this day, happy Imp Day to Catherine Matilda Swinton, otherwise known as, you've just read it. Catherine Matilda Swinton. Correct, yes. Or Tilda Swinton, as Matilda. she's known formally. As Catherine... Tilda, Tilda, Tilda. Yeah. yeah, Tilda, Tilda, Tilda Swinton, Tilda. Yeah, there you go. She was born on 5th November 1960, 58 years old. See, I worked out before this time. Ooh, Didn't have to work out. Clever. Little head seat. She is an actress and performance artist who identifies as Scottish, although she was born in London. Now, that's an interesting baby because I was born in Hertford, Hertfordshire, and but all my relatives are Scottish. I have no English blood in me. So oh, everyone English, was Scottish, but Scottish. you were. It's yeah, as, it's as if brother. they kind of ran to London, had you, and legged it back to Scotland, <laughs> and, left, and yeah. left you there. Yeah, they so did. So how else does that work? I was a foundling. Just left there. Yeah, I was a little foundling. Right. No, I had magical abilities, though. Did you know? Yeah, I could poo quite a lot. Right. Yeah. Isn't that what all babies do? She is known for her roles in both independent art house films and blockbusters as well. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in Supporting Role for Performance as Karen Crowder in the 2007 film Michael Clayton. Not seen that, have you seen that? No. No, I've not even heard of it. She also won the BAFTA Scotland Award for Best Actress in the 2003 film Young Adam and has received three Golden Globe Awards nominations. From a fantasy point of view, she played, you know. I would imagine she was in Lord of the Rings. Actually, that's a really good thing. She wasn't, as far oh, as I know, she wasn't in Lord of the Rings. Um, it was um, oh, Blanchett. Yeah, ah, I so, get them mixed up. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. She would have been really good at that part. But oh, was she, in there? she was the White Witch in oh, right. the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, yeah. <clears throat> 2005. Prince Caspian, 2008, where she also played the White Witch and a centaur. But mm. I've not seen Prince Caspian. Or I've not also seen The Voyage of the Dawn Treasure, 2010, so she's in those. But also, I just want to point out, do you remember the BBC ad adaptation, 1988, of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? Not really. Oh, 
I was prime audience for that. Mm-hmm. And Barbara, and I, because I thought, I'm sure it was her, but it wasn't, obviously. But it was Barbara Kellerman played the White Witch. And she scared the bejesuses out of me. Seriously, that yeah. she had a profound effect on me, but wow. not in a good way. In a good yeah. way? Kind of in a good way. Let's do a fancy fact then, shall we? Well, we might as well get straight yeah. into these. Roll one of the dice. We've got new dice. Yeah. Wow. Only one, though, because these done Do these work? Should well, these let's just find out. You've taken these out of your Cortina. Yeah, pretty much they are. They are, look at that. They're much, they're much better for this environment. Well, that's what they thought. They're better. Yeah. Number five. Number five. You're going to go for it? It depends. Do you want I it? I don't know. It's <laughs> a long one. <laughs> you've, have you reread these? Uh, I, well, well I, that's a short one. I'll do the short one, because yeah, I've, not, I've not, as usual, as is the way, not pre-read the script. Can't bother. Knights and the Golden Circle. The Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret society that operated in the United States during the Civil War, at first, oh, were a secret society that operated in... There wasn't a were. Shall I start again? You start again. We can edit that bit out. The Knights of the Golden (laughs) Circle, a secret society that operated in the the, the United States during the Civil War. I guess it's kind of like a subtitle, that. I was reading it. Oh, I see. The flow flow through me. Yeah. It just stopped. No, I do a little sentence heading. Yeah, Yeah. okay. So I've... Okay. So I'll do that again. Knights in the Golden Circle. The Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret society that operated in the United States during the Civil War. Mm. Right then. At first, they tried to get to the um, merger of... I'm doing terribly at this. At first, well, they tried to get to the merger of Mexico to and be the fair, Caribbean. That's not a brilliant sentence, is it? At first, they tried to get to the merger of that. I don't know what that means. I think what that means is that they're trying to uh, merge the two countries. Maybe I've copied and pasted that bit wrong. <laughs> I thought you wrote these facts yeah, after of lots and lots of research. Yeah. We'll carry on see if it gets any better. Yeah. However, <laughs> when the war started, are you enjoying these facts? Yeah. I hope so, folks. However, when the war started, divert their attention from... This is terrible, <laughs> Who wrote this? Should we scrap that fact? Well, no, carry on, because okay. it is quite a good one. However, when the war started, divert their attention from the... Coloni- from the... Colonize- colonization. So the colon... When you colon- colonize... Colonialism. <laughs> is that a word? Is this the spelling one? Colon... Yeah, like when you colonize... Colonialism. Colonization. Colonising something. This doesn't make sense. Colonialism. I don't know what that is. To fire support to the newly formed government of the Confederacy. Confederacy. They recruited thousands of followers. They had a big impact in the northern states. Often formed outlaw gangs to their goals realised with the use of force. <laughs> do you know what I should do? I should reread them once I've just A member of society them. is nearly finished. A member of the society was the outlaw Jesse, Jesse, Jesse James. Jesse James. So that was an interesting yeah, last thing to end kind I don't of. know what any of that meant. Well, I think what it meant was that, that there was a... During the Civil War in America, which was... Oh, this is terrible, was it sort of 17-something? Oh, I don't know my history. That, yes. Anyway, back in the day, Civil War, obviously... One half of the country is fine, the other half of the country. And I think what it's saying is they, there was a secret society called the Knights of the Golden Circle, which has got very medieval kind of connotations to it, hasn't it? They formed and they were trying to undermine one government to, to sort of, you know, prop right. up another one. And it says here that a member of the society was Jesse James, who was an outlaw. Right, yeah. So it sounds like they were doing underhand things. Yeah. But well. I quite like the fact that you've got you know, relatively modern day, coming up with old-fashioned secret societies that you associate with medieval times. Yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> should we do another well, one? I quite like that, oh, should we? Do you think we should? <laughs> do you, how are you enjoying this show and this lack of... Uh, Organisation. Lack, lack of professionalism and lack of planning. There's nothing wrong. I mean, there's a lot of planning. Yeah. It's, it's just, just a lack of the following execution. it through. Let's do number four, because yeah, right. number four, the Freemasonry or Masonry. <laughs> consists of fraternal organisations that trace their origins to the local fraternities of stone masons, which form, no, which from the end of the 14th century regulated the qualifications of stone masters and their interaction with authorities and clients. The degrees of Freemasonry retain the three grades of medieval craft guilds, those of apprentice, journeyman or fellow, now called fellow craft, and master mason the candidate of these three degrees is progressively taught the mean uh, is progressively taught the meanings of the symbols of freemasonry 
and entrusted with grips, signs and words to sign signify to other members that they are part of the gang, if you like. The initiations are part, uh, are part allegorical mor morality play and part lecture. The three degrees, not that three degrees, mm -hmm. are offered by Craft or Blue Lodge Freemasonry. Members of their organisation are known as Freemasons or Masons. There are additional degrees which vary with locality and jurisdiction and usually administered by their own bodies, separate from those who administer the craft degrees. So the Freemasons, that's probably the most famous secret society, if that's not a Three degrees. Oxymoron. Oh, I stop the same. Well, the three degrees are <laughs> yeah. the most famous the, the, yeah. secret society. Yeah, they formed their own singing yeah. secret society. They were terrible to other people. Right. They were all smiling and songs and dance and that. Not really. Cutthroat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bury the bodies. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, but the Freemasons, have you, you've heard of them. Freemasons, yeah. 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 Oh, they're huge, they're yeah. still around now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually know somebody, I probably know a couple of people in them that are open about it, and I did talk quite extensively to him about it, and it was all that, it was all, it's what he was saying sounded good, but there's just something within me, and this is my own personal issue, that I don't like to necessarily join big groups of people. I'm scared of them. Mm -hmm. no, I just feel like... I just feel like I, that I'll get brainwashed in some way, which is totally wrong. It's totally my bad, but it's sort of I don't even want to give it a chance. So, have you, are you part of a secret society? Yes. But you can't tell me? No, I can't tell me. Okay. We meet in car parks. <laughs> no, let's That's said wrong. That, 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 the better. <laughs> <laughs> Does it involve pets? No. No? No. Okay. No, it's... Keep it clean. Nothing to do with Keep the it clean. dog walking. I was going more the Fight Club route, but oh, I okay. appreciate that it sounded like <laughs> yeah. car parks. It could also be something else. <laughs>we have a kickstarter running at the moment the bottled imp game we are about 30 percent funded come on come on we can ah. do this this is a great game we're not just saying that every time i've look played at this it. yeah look at this every time we've played this i you know i've played it with people that have never played it before they love it they actually want to play another game you know two or three games in a row and the artwork's brilliant by the last week's guest rich nan Fantastic design, uh, Kedrick Winks has come up with it, he's a proper games designer, you know, he's got everything going for it, but we're struggling I think. At the Kickstarter is a, is a, is it's a, a funny thing. There's a, there's, it's a, yeah. Maybe we should do a whole episode just on Kickstarter. Why? We don't know anything about it. We're I know. Not, we're not very good at No, it. but that's what I'm saying. We'll discuss the, yeah, what yeah. we have learned so far. I think there's we'll a lot of other there, campaigns. There are people that back campaigns, because I got into a conversation on a board game revolution Facebook group. And I just got into why, because somebody said, oh, th this game, they think they're backing out, not our one, but a different mm. one. 
So I just said, oh, you know, why do people back out? Yeah, why yeah. do people cancel halfway through they pledge? And it was interesting to hear people's comments, but I thought, well, none of that really applies to us because we've seem- not messed people about. We've not, you know, it seems we're not promising no. stuff we can't give. No, no, and it seems odd if you're going to like a thing and pledge, and if it's not much money like this, is yeah. what less than twenty twenty pounds, less than twenty pounds, no, fifteen pounds, it's fifteen pounds, fifteen yeah. pounds, so a bargain, great stocking filler. Mm. But why would you back out of that? Because if you suddenly realise. You, if it's a big thing, I mean, you know, there's Kickstarters that go for uh, oh, you know, God, £100, £100 pounds, £200, pounds, whatever. Yeah. You might back out of that when mm. you suddenly realise, OK, I don't have much money. Mm. I don't know why you'd back... I don't know what I was saying as if we've had people back out. I don't know that we've had people back we've out. We've had about 10, I would and right, say. So that's weird because... Not, not loads. If they see it's not... If, if they see it's struggling a bit, which mm. this one might be considered a struggling, we've not yeah. reached 50% yet, and we've mm. got, what, I don't know, eight days left or something. Yeah, nine days. But... Yeah. Um, What's the point in backing out? You might as well just go to the end, and if it doesn't get made, you don't have to pay your money. I know. That's why Whereas if it is going to get made, then it's going to get made. Yeah, and you've backed it because you want it. Yeah. So there's no. So that's the backing out thing. I think we can ignore the backing out people. That's just weird. Why people? Would, yeah. Would so, back somebody out. said about um, that they might back two or three, and whichever one right. kind of starts to run out, like oh, look, that's going to be back. Then, then they why not just wait until one. like the last few days and go in and then go and get it? Uh, you're, you're buying a thing. You're not trying to trick people into you know, know. trolling the Kickstarter. I think strange. for us... It's like, it's like Kickstarter's a secret society and we're just not part of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think there's something... It's all about advertising, I think. It's raising awareness. Yeah. It's finding new like people. Like anything. It's, it's yeah. us get, promoting it like if we would, if we were just, if we'd had 100 made and we were trying to sell them, it'd be the same thing. We'd have to get the games to people to buy them. So Yeah, yeah. No, so isn't it? I think you need a, a massive backing to start off with. Yeah, um, and a, a massive audience yeah. before you start doing this. Well, however, you get that. Well, it is building it up because I've I've known board game companies, you know, that, that are very small. They just started out with one game, and that's their first game, and they've all got other jobs, you know, and stuff like that. But they spent about a year just building up the buzz yeah. about it, going to games conventions, going to you know, to p- posting up just about this new game they're developing. Blah, I think blah. it's a full time and, and, and they're, so, well, yeah. they would still do it part-time in the spare time but they just took a year yeah. before they launched it they said right we're launching in you know yeah. next year my feel is people would forget about it and it'd be well, like no, has that come and gone by now well but, but they yeah. keep they keep, keep trying to yeah and then the more you yeah. see something the more you'll just know I think about a, a, it. a good couple of months beforehand if we'd started yeah. just focusing on this but it, yeah but everyone's busy. again we're part-time we're they're part-time doing this, we're doing so, this show yeah. so. anyway Enough about this. But Enough with you. <laughs> <laughs> Winch section over. I'm just going to make a Secret Society slightly more relevant to fantasies because obviously a Secret Society doesn't have to be fantasy based, does it? No, no, exactly. But I mean, in Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time, Dark Friends mm-hmm. is a Secret Society. In Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, you've got the Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword. I, I, I wish I, I love those films, but I've never yeah. heard of such a thing. Was I maybe not paying enough attention? Well, it was secret. Was maybe you, see, maybe a, there was just, you're reading into that. Yeah, exactly. In Preacher, a comic book, there was the Grail, which are really good. They're they're good. Right. And obviously, Harry Potter series, you have the Order of the Phoenix, the Death Eaters, and Dumbledore's army. They're secret because they're trying to, you know, they have to keep quiet, build it all up. In Star Wars films. In the what? In the Star Wars films. Are you a Star Wars or a Star Wars? Comment below. Hmm. Put one word in capitals if you say Star, War- Star Wars. It's Star, Wars. Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, you got the Sith. The Sith. They're in Star Wars, aren't they? Uh, they sound like a Star Wars thing. Yeah. The Sith. Yeah. Okay, no, it's a long time since I've... And also in Doctor Who, we got Torchwood, that was an agency that set up to investigate and defend the Earth from supernatural occurrences, and that was a spin-off series. Also in Skyrim, my favourite game ever, um, Dark Brotherhood, which you need. There are lots. Not played. Well, I I think I start I started playing it, didn't I? And mm. you've got um, yeah, I think I've got you've got my original you've got, 360. You've got a 360 yeah. with the thing and started playing it. Mm. Yeah, I think you've got to invest quite a lot of time. I think it's one of those things that I worry that I get into this world and you do that and then I go... And you can't get out. I got, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, how do you... Where's, you know, Your brain where's is like... the door? In real life, you start yeah. killing things. I just don't have time to sit and play games. I'm not a massive gamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, I, I enjoy it. I'm liking the look of Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, it's just yeah, come yeah. out. That's going to be not really fantasy, but Western, but the graphics and the open worldness. I like an open world game. Yeah, yeah. And so Skyrim, I think I would, would sort of enjoy that. I like that sort of magical world. But I yeah, think... Yeah. It is. It's an 
investment. I think I played it a bit, and I just don't. You know, I don't have the, the thing time is, to spend five hours of my life. <laughs> well, the thing is, day sometimes. Playing, yeah, no, I haven't really. I, you know, I might spend an hour or two hours. You, you, ideally, with a game like that, you want to spend three or four hours because yeah. it's really immersive. So sometimes I can do that. But then what I find is that if you've not played it for three or four months. You then go, right, Skyrim, I've got some time. And then you go, right, what the hell was I doing? Oh, <laughs> you yeah. totally forget it. But then you pick it up, you do pick it up. I don't know, it is a, yeah, it's, it's um, crazy. This, is, this, this episode's a bit more like a podcast, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, why We're not? Why not do a stuff. podcast? Shall we do Charity Shop? No, what do we do? Let's do the this one, what do I call it? The Great Fantasy Challenge. Yeah, get... get. I, th- I thought that ended last week with the f- massive humiliating failure. But have you tried... Are you trying to... I'm pushing are you, through. Are you pushing trying to put life back into it? Yeah. So this is. Did ter- you read it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so are we right in thinking that last week? No. You're still. You're I'm still going to breathe busy. life into it. I am. I'm too busy because so I'm enjoying gone on hold? them. I'm, well, it's not gone on hold. You on knew purpose. we were making this second season of the Bottle Inch Show. No, but the you plan knew was that I read it through the week. I'm too busy. I've had opportunities to come up to like I did. Do you a, think the BBC are going to pick this up if we just see us failing at things? <laughs> I did a medium. We didn't even give a prize away I? last week, and we I said know, we were giving a prize I away. Know. I think we. I think this I show think, is though, falling I apart. Think, no, I think audiences are too mollycoddled. I think you know when, when people promise stuff to audiences, they give them yeah. away. That shouldn't be right. That's not right. Yeah. You should promise stuff and then what, let people down. What the one show? What do they know when they exactly. say what we've got coming up? They've got a guest. Yeah. No, we're not even going to talk no. to that guest. Leave him over there. We've got Samuel L. Jackson sat here waiting to be interviewed. Yeah. But we're not bothered. We might even not get to him. this is more important. <laughs> yeah. So you can talk about how you didn't read it yet again. Yeah. I, well, I was busy and I had so a meeting. So are we saying? Like, let's just establish. Yeah. Let's just establish for our audience in, in, in true transparency and honesty. Are yeah. we saying that? I'm not going to lie. You've got though, a lot of other things that are much more important than this show um, that you're doing during the week and not not focusing on um, content for our beautiful beautiful viewer. No. Yeah. No, it, I've got other stuff going on. You've got I, other I did, stuff going I, on in your life. Well, it other tagged in. I, it, um, this is fantasy related. I did a mediumship. That's not fantasy though. But I did it. Well, is it though? That's the is thing. It? That's that was what we discussed. I think it's fantasy. in the psychic world. Well, I did a mediumship. The first time I've done a platform in front of fifty people, right. and you know, I was going right. There's, I'm getting this image and all of that, and then and I started off, and I'd never done it before. I'd done it in training, so I'd done it to other mediums. Um, and that was quite nerve wracking because I've done one to ones and that's fine, but then you know, in front of a people, load of people, because so what if nothing comes through? But again, you have to be honest. Well, a bit like that show, what if just yeah, there's no content? No, there's no worth content. Watching. Yeah, still plow start, on. Start the show, yeah. still keep playing. going. We're like yeah. nearly, nearly running to the end. Yeah, but admit that there's no show. We're admitting there's no show. Oh, shit, we so, what I'm show. saying, yeah. <laughs> oh, boop! <laughs> we have actually just, just noticed the time. Yeah. I sort of feel we've only just started and we I haven't know. actually done anything. Yet. We have. We've given a couple You've of eaten at least out. one of those. I've had one of these. Muffins. Now, what I was going to say is, and then I started saying, right, I've got this woman, blah, 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 and I won't go into these, but I started saying about it and nobody was taking it. Nobody. And I was like, and then I just went, well, this is a good start, isn't it? And then one person eventually put their hand up and said, mm. yeah, it's me. And, and the reason why she didn't come for, forward earlier is because it had, she'd only lost that person fairly recently and mm. it was still too raw for her. Right. She didn't know whether she could take it or not. And then she just was said... She the woman that you said that no, I set no up. one <laughs> yeah just, just but don't come in straight away just give it at least give it quite give everyone a real good chance <laughs> exactly and then your excuse could be and it's then, just quite fresh yeah, oh. yeah that's yeah. clever yeah yeah wasn't fixed we should have a show, show we should have more intense debate shows about I reckon we whether, whether it's all yeah. maybe that's series three of this show maybe we'll develop this show into something it's else something a bit heavier yeah I reckon because because what we find is we run I think out people of time. like the chaos that's the only <laughs> we, and the, the, the comments we do get are, uh, yeah. Not really talking about anything specific no. other than we like the shambolic nature of it. Let's not talk this, about, you know, the, the this e- massive effort we put into it. This is very important. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, let's move on. It's a funny old one today, isn't <laughs> it? It is. Well, it's, I told you it's too early I in the morning. I feel the show's got a lot more depth and content when we have a guest host. <laughs> yeah. Don't you? There yeah. seems to be well, that's what I'm saying. someone this who knows what, what they're doing. Yeah, but well, that's why we need to talk about stuff that you can talk about that's fantasy related, like the psychic world, because you're a sceptic, and that's great if someone's a sceptic to talk to someone who believes because yeah. you have an interesting debate. Fantasy show, we've got to get, Chop, the, we've got to get the prize done as well, yeah, so yeah. let's do this that's quickly. fine, let's go, you ready? 
Hey! Oh, look at those. Do you like those? I quite like those, yeah. actually. And yeah. you know how I feel about dust catchers. Exactly. That says a lot. They still look like dust catchers to me. Oh, of course. I had to actually dust them down before. Well, there you go, because they caught a lot of dust. <laughs> yeah, but that's they? part of their... That's, so, okay, let me have a look. That's how you advertise them. Don't look at the bottoms. because oh, okay. The so, they've got the prices yeah. on. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I like, yeah, I mean, these are sort of sweet little things, yeah. aren't they? They're kind of, I want them to be bigger. I want this well, one to be this That's because you've got huge hands. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it I've got proper bigger. hands. I've got ladies' hands. Yeah, you've got Trump hands. Mm, let's not associate me with Trump. I'm assuming this was a perfume right. bottle. Oh, no, but that would have the dabber in, wouldn't it? But I thought perfume has a dabber. All right. That's a bit of a sweeping statement. Oh, I Do you don't think all know. perfume bottles have a dabber? I take it when you put your perfume well, on. Well, I, I pay extra for the dabber. Someone to come in I need to, yeah, and yeah. dab it. Just dab it on. Just, yeah. But I thought you could put magic potions. Imagine if you were, you know, yeah. making up magic. Because, well, yeah. Cause <laughs> Don't spoil the magic, Julian. The magic, it's perfect for your magic potions. Yeah. This one, has okay. a, this one has a little lid that flips up. So, okay, we've got to crack on. So I've got to get, okay, I think, okay, oh, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to go 250 each, so five pounds for both. Okay, you're spot on. Wow. It was 250 there, and I have no idea about this one. Oh. Maybe I nicked it. Wow. I didn't nick it. Well, we know your experience of charity shops. You probably, <laughs> you probably punched the old woman in the face and legged it. Legged it. I'm having that. Before you're taking my money. Yeah, exactly. You'll never take <laughs> So did you pay down. a fiver? I think I did pay. No, that might have been slightly cheaper. Right. Okay. I can't remember. But that one's oh, definitely well. 250 But I, I'd probably pay 250 <laughs> for, for that. What's going on? <laughs> that actually made me jump. <laughs> it's the spirits, you see. You were mocking the spirits. <laughs> You were mocking the spirits. When you say shambolic... We've got time to amend it. We've got to do the no, game. Look. We've literally got two minutes no, to... Look. I'll tell you what would have been really freaky. What? If there'd been just a face. Just a face at the window. Like have, since we're 18 floors up, <laughs> yeah, that exactly. would have been frightening us. Let's move on. Show, that was very disappointing, that ting. Oh, we need to. I think we need to do the prize giveaway because otherwise we're entering, we're entering the last couple of shows. Exactly. Look at that. Is that a, that's not a giveaway. This is a giveaway. Why are we keeping my that? I know. Well, I've already got a copy of this. Oh, have you? Well, I don't have a copy of it. I know because you're not into gaming, are oh, you? Yeah. But you will be. I'm trying to get Julian yeah, to gaming. Write we'll a campaign. Do. Write in the comments that you want to get see Julian to play, play some game. board we games. We want to do a when line. We want to see him play yeah. games any time in the next three years. When exactly. do we want? To see... <laughs> No, because Julian needs schooling. You need education. I need learning good. Do I? Do I need... To... Small World. This is a good game. You'd enjoy this, yeah. actually, I think. Small World. It's got rave reviews. I do want to do a review of it, but at the moment, we're not doing board game. We will. We are doing... We are going to... When we get... We are going to do we'll some more board games. This show. When this show <laughs> finishes the season, that gives us some time more back. Time, we I can know. film a board game. We've been limited on time now, it's so, so it's hard. really tricky. We're trying to do our best for you guys and girls. But yeah, Small World, this is a fantastic prize. Not only is it the base game, Whoa. and I'm very jealous because I've not got this expansion. This Whoa. is also the Small World uh, expansion, River World. Goodness me. And that looks amazing as well. I like the uh, illustrations. Yeah, sort of cartoon. So we've got fantasy. crack on to how they can win this. Uh, yeah. do we, well, before we, before we, we go on. How have we got these wonderful games? Yeah, exactly. These are very kindly donated by I play D and D. Well, we've kind of stopped now, but we used to play D and D, and I did want him on the show. Ben Jones, a really good friend of mine. He was going to come on the show, but his work changed, pattern changed. So he couldn't get time off, so unfortunately, he can't co-host. But he works for, or should I, should I say, he's part of the family. Talk of secret societies. Wow. Marley Paper. He's he's written out. Yeah, so I don't have to make this up. Marley Paper, a family run. UK based manufacturer of receipt rolls. Look at the excitement. Yeah, we all need receipt rolls. Yeah, which are mainly used in till printers, obviously, mm. and chip and pin machines. Their web shop address, so the web shop address can be found in the comments below. So we'll put. No, 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 no. you did a good job. We haven't got time. We've literally got 30 seconds before camera switch off. Read that out. Okay, please. it says they have given us 15% discount if you use the code IMP15, typed in way. lowercase. It's falling apart for all the imps. So go to www.marley.com and that's M-E-R-L-E-Y.com. So thank you so much, Ben. Yeah, we'll put that. all that in the description. We will put so all that in the description. To win this, go to our Facebook page, yeah. uh, facebook.com forward slash the bottled imp. There'll be a post about this game. You have to... 
comment, like, comment. and share. Yep. The usual Facebook thing. The themes. usual thing. Your name will be picked from random. Woohoo! On the live show. On the live show. 19th live... of November. A live. This show is live. Crazy. <laughs> Imagine that you're going to start rehearsing it. Imagine the professionalism on that one. That's going to be insane. <laughs> Catch the live show, tune in live. Winners will be announced then for this competition and the others. You can still enter the other competitions. Exactly. And Let's also, wrap it up. This week's Friday Fancy Show is Stardust. The audio, is it? Yes. Yeah. The audio is book. It? Yes. No, did that come out today? Yes, I think so. Came out today. So we're out well, now. Out today. Yeah, it's out yes, on Friday. Yeah, it's out today. This, shh, we're not filming it early. Yes, <laughs> it's out already. But yeah, so check this one out. Stardust, the audio play. Plus we're doing another imp live. <laughs> chat on the 13th of November. Join me then on the Facebook page. And we're out of here.